I've got a bias given my my role in the Progressive MS Alliance. So really, it, it, it's it's the, how how that has evolved, um, and what we've just announced to the press just about half an hour ago, which are the winners of these three major international network awards, uh, and that's absolutely fantastic. So these are three individuals who are leading international networks in 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 their areas, which, who will receive 4.2 million euros over the next four years but who have to deliver uh, in that time. A wonderful uh, uh, proposal uh, from Doug Arnold uh, and not just a Canadian group, an international group looking at biomarkers and two brilliant proposals that are looking at new drugs, uh, one from Genevieve Martino in Italy but again with an international group and the other with uh, Francesca Quintana with, again with, with an international group. So th this is really exciting. This is, you know, this is exactly what the Progressive MS Alliance is all about which is identifying new treatments in MS and all three of these are cont entirely focused on that. The uh, Network Awards uh, began, we had 52 applications, which had about 460 PIs linked to them, because of course there are 52 big networks. We brought that down with great difficulty to 11, and then those 11 were given planning awards of 50,000 euros to spend the year really trying to work up their applications, and then of those 11, three were selected. It was the most difficult thing we've ever had to do, because there were many really good submissions, I mean truly good submissions that I, I think, I, I, my hope is that while we're supporting these three, some of the others that were not successful will be supported in other ways so that work can actually happen. The challenging thing about these network awards is that the impact is, is what we're measuring and we are clear that we need to see uh, absolute deliverables at the end of four years. Now, you know, some people think that four years is a very long time, but actually it passes in the blink of an eye. So, you know, we've looked at the work plans of what people are proposing to de deliver over that time. We will be reviewing annually to make absolutely sure the timelines are being hit, because otherwise we won't get the impact. What I'd like to see then at the end of four years is that we will have at least two new drugs to evaluate, two new treatments, and then we will also have a biomarker which will help us to evaluate them in progressive MS. That's all. I think that it has a, a good profile, um, I, I, and I think that people acknowledge the role it, it plays. Um, you know, I, this is not about the alliance, this is about treatments for progressive MS. So there's nothing, uh, nothing about owning an area or containing an area, it's simply about raising the profile of progressive MS and working with any initiatives in the area that we can make a contribution to. But I do think you, I've heard several times already in, in presentations at Ectrams about the role of the alliance. So I, I, do, I do think uh, in a really short period of time it's come of age and that's probably Probably because there was a vacuum, there was nothing there, so now there's something. And as long as we don't get overly political or overly bureaucratic or overly anything and remember what the mission is, then we'll be absolutely fine. We had a wonderful talk from Jerry Montalban on, on personalised medicine and, and, and trying to put, trying to get a sense of where we are in, in predicting how our patients are going to do and therefore how we should be treating them. And, and, and it is complex, but it's absolutely critical if we're going to get the very best results for our, our patients. And I think I'm like many others. You know, we had last year uh, the first uh, positive phase three trial in progressive MS and primary progressive MS with orcalizumab. And this year on Saturday, we're likely, I think to hear uh, a positive trial in secondary progressive MS with Saponamod. So this, this is an amazing to see how an area which has had little or nothing going on uh, now has major positive trials. If it goes the way I hope it does, it, it will mean that we will have a treatment for secondary progressive MS that we feel confident is going to make a difference to the patients that take it. Now, the extent of the difference, and again, I hearken back perhaps to the interferon studies 20 years ago, it may not be 
huge, it may be sort of a 20, 25, 30% difference, but it will be real and it will be reliable. So I think that will mean that we won't be saying that progressive MS is untreatable. Uh, and that we've started on the journey. Now, the, what we really want is, is a much faster journey with progressive MS than we've had with a relapsing remitting MS. You know, we want, and also a more targeted journey, so really focusing on neuroprotection and on repair. And that, I think, is what will come from some of these uh, networks that we're funding with the Alliance.